My name is Absolute. Welcome back to Bonnie Vice Reba. All right, let's roll this d20. Right, what do we get? That's 16. That's Zazzle. Unfortunately, we have already completed everything with Zazzle as of last episode. What's this? That's 18. 18 is Lazarus, I believe. 19, 20, 18. Okay, right. Lazarus needs to do the chest and the boss rush. Paralysis is our opening pills. That's really good. Really glad to see that. I will leave one of these fires up just in case I need to use the fire to kill myself at the very end of the level. I like to kill myself as a as um, this fellow. Just so that I can get better stats. You have better stats on your second life. Uh, I think 0.7 more damage because you go up to 4.2 damage from 3.5. Uh, you also go from negative one luck to zero luck. I'm not certain exactly what the statistical changes for the rest of the um, things are. I could easily just die in this fight and then have an easier fight against him. I don't think I will, though. I'll give myself a chance to, you know, trade away all of my health in a deal with the... Sorry, not deal with the devil. Well, maybe deal with the devil if I got a red chest to teleport me in there, or a joker or something. I'll give myself a chance to do stuff like that. If at all possible, obviously. If I die, you know, say la vie, say la vie. Say la vie, say la vie. No, say la vie, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que No, that's que sera. Oh, what am I saying? Seriously, what am I saying? Oh, Sarah. Of course. Uh, oh, there we go. Gotcha. Lovely. Whew. That could have been tragic, not to mention other adjectives. Damage plus range up is fine. Whoa, I almost walked straight into that fire. Oh, man. That could have been tragic. Not to mention other adjectives, of course. So... This is only, I think, ooh, don't quote me on this, but I think it's 0.5 uh, damage up, the Jesus juice that we have. I seem to recall it, rem not reminding me, I seem to recall it uh, shocking me that it was actually so low damage up. Come on, almost got the room clear. Super slot, eh? I mean, this wouldn't be a horrible room to die in, but um, I don't think I need to die in this room necessarily. Oh, hey, cool. Petrified poop. I like a good petrified poop from time to time. Reminds me that I'm alive. <clears throat> Emperor is going to be pretty lovely for the next floor. Ooh, what's this? Two of hearts. If that was Suicide King, I would be the happiest man. I'll think about what I want to do with that later. There we go. Now I know what I want to do with it. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, pick up this half heart. Okay, so this is why I didn't want to kill myself, because I can use rooms like that in order to get items while I'm killing myself. So here we go. Boom. Boom. Great. Now I'm going to see if I can collect any more health and give it to there before I use those spikes to kill myself. The reason, by the way, that I left the fire there is just in case there wasn't a room like that in order to kill myself. Although I don't even know if there's a curse room. I should probably check out if there's a curse room on this floor first. Man, having this fucking curse of the lost on the first floor, kind of annoying. Have I even found my item? I haven't even gone to my item room this floor. I was just considering when I'm leaving this floor. My god, am I dumb. The answer is yes. Yes, I am. Oh. When did you two escape up here? Nice little getaway. Excellent. I want a bomb so that I can try and get to that uh, red chest. I think primarily I care about the red chest rather than the key. Oh, 
I also want this tinted rock. I just want so many things. Give me bombs. Or even give me health to trade away on that uh, thing. The self-sacrifice room. Okay, it, I think the behavior of those guys changes significantly as they get closer to death. Now I'm going to use my bomb here. Yeah, I'm going to use it here actually. So that I can check for a secret room whilst I open the area to use that TNT to blow that up. Now I want to take that spirit heart after I kill myself this way. Because if I take it beforehand, I just have to use it and kill myself. Which is just a waste. Plus, I would like to be able to protect my red health on the next floor for the deal with the devil precedent. Yada, 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 you know the drill. Oh, baby, that's a good item. Mulligan, they grow inside. Oh, man. Anyone else need a cigarette? Again, I make that joke constantly, but I do not condone smoking. Don't do it, young, impressionable brains. It is not a good idea. Do what I do. Drink an absurd amount of caffeine. Let that be your drug of choice. Because that, ultimately, not a problem. Unless you add a lot of shit into the caffeine like I do. Like, <clears throat> vodka. <laughs> Oh, that can be fun. Can definitely be fun. I definitely condone that, so... Oh, fuck you! Great, now I need another bomb to open that, which I'm not gonna get. Alright, so now I go down, I pick up my... Ugh. Pick up this, and then leave. I'm probably fine to fight the boss next floor. In fact, I should probably just straight up Emperor to my boss as soon as I get down to the next floor. Yeah, I feel like that's the correct decision to make. What's this? Lockdown, not good. What's in here? Oh my god, this isn't good either. So now my luck is negative again. Because I had zero luck and now I got a luck down pill. So yay, negative luck again. Now I've got an Emperor into the boss room. Fight pin. This shouldn't be too difficult. It's just I want to kill the other thing as soon as possible. So that I can focus very singularly on pin. Um, and then as soon as I'm focusing singularly on pin, eh, it's not a challenge at all. There's a number of bosses you should be able to kill without any damage ups, without any range ups or speed ups or anything. And Pin is one of those. You should be able to kill him by base characters. That's not a good item. Is it worth taking just to have the deal with the Devil President? But then I'll die in one hit. I don't think I can... I don't think I can accept that risk. Especially since I have the mulligan and a damage up already, so it's not a horrible run. It's not something I want to throw away. This is definitely not a risk it for the biscuit moment. Whoa! Whoa! Dear Lord in heaven! Did you see all those fucking guys cornering in on me? Uh huh. They had blood in their eyes, they did. Of course, they don't have animated eyes in this game, but, um could sense it. Mystery sack is bullshit. Don't like it. Oh, baby. Look at all the things we're getting that are entirely unnecessary to run. Four more cents and I can check out the shop. I may bomb those three, uh... Ooh. Much closer to thinking about doing that now. Hey, do I actually want to go into that room instead? That would be interesting. Okay, I'm going to put this here, see if I can get a secret room at the same time. No, I can't. Open that. That was a dumb idea. Now I've wasted my key and I probably can't get to the shop. Good work. Right. 
Ryan Brain Master. Now there's no point in even trying. Good work, Ryan. You dull piece of shit. Okay, so going down to the next floor, I guess we're looking for a deal with the angel precedent to keep us alive and then damage from our item rooms. I mean, because we've turned up our nose of deal with the devil, so we're likely to get some deal with the angel action going on. Um, it's just I want them to be good. That's a lockdown, I think. I think that's the only thing in my rotation I currently know. Gotcha. Okay. And this one's easy. I see. Hey, it didn't cost me anything to do, so don't mind. I'm likely to get another coin. There we are. I was about to say, I'm likely to get another coin in this room. And there, it immediately pops out. Hey! Oh my god! Another 10 cents afterwards and then a key. So now I'm going definitely to the shop and the item room. Uh, humbling bundle would be absolutely lovely. I'm assuming this is the shop. I hope that my faith is not misplaced. Lame. Alright, just in case. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Two tears what makes that worth it. Even if I have to wait for this effect to last. Alright. <clears throat> Let's just wait another 40 seconds while this, uh, while this are you wizard goes on. I'll take a big swig of my lovely energy drink here. Lovely. Refreshing. Energizing. Let me just not mention the name of the brand so that no one thinks that I'm under corporate sponsor- Would any- Would any corporation actually sponsor me? Are you s Really? They wouldn't. Because as soon as they gave me money, I would turn around and talk shit about them. I would so- Like- I would do it for a joke, but I would definitely do it. Like, have you heard Bill Bird's podcast? Anytime anyone sponsors him, his ad for them is always just trash-talking that brand. Apparently it seems to work for him. I'm pretty sure I would do the same thing, but without all of the comedic skill required. Okay. Fuck this. There we go. Thank you for having flies. Excellent. Um, I mean, I don't have a use item, so I might as well take it. It's better to have than not to have, I guess. It's just most likely not going to be worth my time. It's a th as th a third as good as a familiar, basically. Because it's a familiar, you only have four one-third of rooms. And it's a random familiar as well. You don't even know what it's going to be, so you can't plan around it. No hollow. Okay. Oh, hey, it's a level two, um... Level two, this one. Bandage girl. Hang on. I can't see my health. Right, no, I still gotta deal with the devil anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay. Tears up again, baby. I 
How much trust do I have that I have enough spirit hearts to pick that up? Do I even think I have any spirit hearts currently? I don't think I do. I think if I pick that up, I will immediately die. Ugh. God damn it. Yeah, I can't pick up red health, so my red health is full, but I only have one red health. So it's just a question of do I have any spirit hearts currently? I'm almost entirely certain I do not. Right, let's try and see if I can buy a spirit heart. No. Let's see if I can fluke a balls of steel pill. That didn't work. I'm almost entirely certain. I'm almost entirely certain I have exactly one full red heart and not a single piece more of health. Which is why I think taking that will kill me. It's not even available to me. Alright, now we get to go down to the next floor and find out if I was correct. Damn it, I had a spirit heart! Holy shimoly! Look at that cricket's head. And three tiers up pills so far as well. This is, a, this is not that bad. I was thinking about using the Emperor to get out of this room, but I was like, oh, I can probably just tear the bosses to shreds. Peep. Well. Well, that was easy. Excellent. Oh, how risky do I want to be? Do I want to be the Risk Lord? Do I want to be the Lord of Risks? I'm going to go with a yes on that. All right, let's go. Bam. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Go into the boss room. Immediately. Another monster manual. Okay. Okay, done. Cool. Yeah, did it didn't expect another deal with the devil, but would have liked one. It's a possibility, although slightly quite low. I mean, I have the basis for a pretty good run. Oh. There we go. Have the basis for a pretty damn good run so far. I just need to not fuck it up. So I gotta maintain my health. For the moment, that's all I really need to do, actually. Maintain my health. Of course, as I say that, I'm taking damage. So... How likely you think that is entirely up to you. I'll come back and pick up that spirit heart later. Now, I don't need to do boss rush, right? No, I do need to do boss rush. Oh, fuck. I'm not doing boss rush on this run. I've taken too long already. I would need to complete two more floors in three minutes. Mm -mm, not happening. I had two Emperor cards and I still can't do that. Spent a lot of time dilly-dallying about on the first level. That's probably just where I lost all of my time. Plus, I don't even think I'm powerful enough to destroy Boss Rush. I think I would die. I think that's almost not even debatable whether or not I would die. I think I just would. Okay, let's give you another heart. Bombs are key. 
I am not a huge fan of having that. All right, I'm gonna blow this up. I'm definitely a huge fan of having that. All right. Uh, I have been to the shop. I wasn't excited by whatever it was in there. I think it was the boomerang. Perfect. Just trying to get this guy to pay out. That's literally all I care about right now. Get him to pay out, take Brimstone, win game. Anything else that I can pick up right now doesn't look like it Okay, I might even buy bombs to try and bail myself out here one two three four five. Fuck you god. I hate the key beggar the key beggar needs to have a way higher drop rate seriously Like unless you are overflowing in keys, there's never ever, ever a reason to give that key beggar even a single key because the drop rate is so low and keys are so, so valuable. If you even miss one item room or one shop that you could have had an advantage from, that's a huge loss. I believe this to be our secret room. Not our secret room. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well. Lovers. It's not the lovers. Alright. He paid out with something. It was fucking spiders. Of course it was. Collect as much red health, bring it back here, give it to the beggar man. There we are. It's like four more plays of the beggar man. Let's go and get whatever red health it is over here. Oh, shit. That's good. And I've got another hanged man so I can come back for more if I really need to. This is me working... This, this is the type of stuff that I do very early in the run to try and set myself up for a run that later it'll look like there was no way that I should have any business having that run. No, of course you're not going to pay out, you prick. Okay, another hanged man. Now what am I going to do with this money? I mean, that doesn't seem like a good usage. Right. I'm just going to hang man to take the four cents and then leave. <sighs> okay. This guy is just going to be left with only boss rush to do. It's just kind of disappointing, but still. Yeah, thank you for the keys. I'm very, very pleased to get that. After all of the shit that just went down with that key beggar. Okay. There's nothing on my map. Oh, wait. I might have had the compass effect last room. And I just, like, glimpsed it. Dear lord, look at all these keys. Okay. Let's get that compass effect. Right, so it's down and to the left is where I want to go. And down and to the bottom as well. I love that they both just killed the spiders immediately. What the fuck is going on with the key drops here? Is the game trying to make it up to me for all of the keys it just stole? Possible. Not a huge fan of it, but I guess I'll take it because... So either that or just leave it there. Oh. 
One spirit heart for three bombs. Oh, baby, am I excited about making that trade. Okay, so I've got one more shop after this. If this is green, I'm going to be annoyed. It's not greed. Still annoyed. All right. Kind of just all in on dropping random items at random times with this mystery sack and the fanny pack. Mystery sack and fanny pack, of course. Come on. Be dead already. It's not that much to ask. Excellent. Come on. Follow through. Excellent. So I've made him start charging, and then I can just dock around to the other side. Similarly over here. Beautiful. Just a good deal with the devil. That's all I ask. Good deal with the devil. That's a deal with the angel. Still could be good. That's not a good deal with the angel. Alright, fuck you. I might end up with a build that allows me to kill Mega Satan. So just in case... I'm gonna start getting key halves. I only need to do that in one more angel room in order to be able to fight Mega Satan as soon as I get down to the chest. I might only get the items on the chest and then have the ability to kill Mega Satan. Who knows? I don't. Fuck. I hate this room. Excellent. It's now cleared so I don't have to worry about that room ever again up until the next time I find that room. I love that laugh. It's mildly erotic. Sorry, did I say mildly? I went wildly, is what I meant. Oh. Fuck that! Thank god I have really high movement speed, otherwise I probably wouldn't have been able to evade that as easily. Right, I have Mulligan. For some reason, I keep looking at my fly generation and I'm like, where are all these flies coming from? If I had Mulligan, there would be more. But no, Mulligan's actually quite weak in terms of creating flies because you always compare it to the other fly creating thing, which is being Guppy, uh, which just does it way better. TLDR, I would like to be Guppy. Make me one Guppy, please. One unit of Guppy. Actually, two units of Guppy, I believe, is what I need, right? No, I have no Guppy. I have zero Guppy thus far. That surprises me. would very much like to see a, uh, whatchamacallit, hands. Left hands. The one what might make me Guppy. Especially since... Uh, sure. Trust good people, you are dark inside. Ah, fucking god damn it, the fire shot me. I don't like this video game. Bad video game. Zero out of ten. Game of the year, forever. I've only played 500 hours of this and the first game combined. So, you know, I don't think I've got my money's worth, my $15 worth. <clears throat> Okay, now I need, like, a black heart or something to go down to the next floor with. Fucking hell. What is wrong with this game? What is wrong with me that I keep trusting this game not to be like this? Right. That was an easy one. Bacano? Pathro! That's actually worthwhile having. So Perthrow is change an item. You just re-roll items basically with it. 
Well, deal with the devil's not going to happen. Don't care. As long as I get a really good reroll. Some stupid damage up that does not lower my shot speed would be amazing. Admittedly unlikely, but amazing. Oh shit! I dropped a black heart. That's cool. Okay. Gotcha. Whoa! Oh no, that's the monkey paw, not the left hand. Damn it. I'm so surprised to see it. Uh, on this floor, I think that actually creates um, the Bible, right? I'll just check. No, it doesn't. Okay, it does that. Uh, lame. That was not as good as a reroll as I hoped it would be. Oh well, at least Gimpy's paying out immediately. Okay, also got this tinted rock over here to worry about. Thank you. That's some damage up. That's what I was asking for. Damage up without the health down. Sorry, without the tears down. Yeah, I'm just going to donate as much as I can. Please take some of my money donation machine. Every single time I've been trying to give my money to the donation machine recently, it's just conked out at like one cent or something stupid like that. Hey, it, it took 20 cents, 15 cents, sorry, of my money. That's fine. I'll just buy these two and then leave peacefully. <coughs> Dang it. I was attempting not to sneeze. Oh, by the way, if you were looking for the seed, it's... L-S-E-E-K-O-K-0-A-Y. So it's like, uh... Seal, okay, for people who are dyslexic. Still haven't gone to the item room. Need to double back and find that. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't manage to catch that sneeze. I attempted to. But it came on too suddenly. I've got... Ah, I'm liking the tears. It's just... I guess I'm lacking a tear of... Oh, damn it. Little Brimstone is also a special item. Yeah, we're not getting another special item now. Oh, well. Uh, Monkey Spore is probably less powerful than Liberty Cap. I thought it was left hand. That's why I picked it up immediately and I was really happy about it. But then I was like, oh, oh right, not left hand. Uh huh. huh. And then I became a sad man about it. So that's basically the history of me. Are you a wizard? Yep, double are you a wizard does not revert your state. Man, I wish that was uh, Tears Up dropped twice. Mm? Mm. Mm. No. So that actually wouldn't do anything for me. At all. Not even slightly. Because it would just be a random teleport on any floor that doesn't have a item room. And I've already visited the item room on this floor, so therefore, it's trash. Definitely not as good as an alligator room. What did I just drop in that room? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Alright, yeah, Gimpy and Fanny Pack. So I'm going to be dropping a lot of health when I get hit. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that didn't work as well as I was hoping. Alright. This spot is pretty broken. You can just stand here and... Yeah. Do what I'm doing. Yeah, as I said, that spot's pretty broken. Uh, yeah, we have to go to the cathedral, right? Yeah, it is. If I recall correctly, it is the cathedral. 
<clears throat> oh, right, yeah, because I was talking about getting carried on the chest. That'll make sense. So now I'm hoping just to get my deal with the angel on this floor, have it be like, you know, Sacred Heart or something stupid like that. Um, and then after that, I'll fight Mega Satan. Because having to deal with the angel this floor will allow me to get the other half of the key that I require to fight Mega Satan. I just walked on creep because the creep is almost indistinguishable from the floor color. The fuck. No! And now I get to take one more hit before... Yep, yeah, there we go. Now I am officially in a position where I am unlikely to get a deal with the angel this floor. God. Oh my god. What the fuck? What did I do? What did I do, game? Why do you hate me so? Alright, just don't get hit in the boss fight. You might still have a chance. Just troll bombs drop in every single room, apparently. Left, right, and fucking center. Yep, not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I have no interest in telepathy with dummies. There is literally a version of that item that is permanent. And even it is not worth always having. I may consider Algeezing in the boss room just to try and not take damage in the boss room, which might give me a chance of getting the deal with the angel again. Or rather, still getting it. Oh my god, why is every room dropping troll bombs? Seriously, now it's insane. Like, before it was weird, but now it's very much the trend. I'm concerned. Alright. Yep, I'm gonna try and do it. Why is he not taking damage from half of the hits I do to him? I'd like that shit explained post haste. Yeah, that's no deal with the devil. Alright. Oh my god, this is a difficult video game. I'm gonna play this to try and get another pretty flyer to add to my orbitals. I'm too fast. I constantly just take damage while trying to walk over things. Yep, that's a pretty fly. Oh my... What the hell is going on with my fingers? Dear lord in heaven. Take that, take that. That and that's fine. Now, where are those two beggars? I believe they're here. Yep. Put them down here. Gotcha. What's that? Lockdown. Not taking it. That's a half heart, so that's going to give me a lot of plays of this guy. Here we go. Are you kidding me? That's the same item last time that I got when I was in the same position playing that same guy. Missing page does barely anything. Why would I ever want it? Oh, piece of shit. Alright. I might as well go confront my doom. Um, I'm actually in a better position if I don't collect any more red hearts, so... 
I'm gonna avoid doing that. And just leave. Excellent. Curse of the Blind, at least. Not super gonna be affecting me. Because there's not that many items that you pick up on Utero 2. Okay. All I need now... Get to the chest, get carried. Get to the chest, get carried. Get to the chest, get carried. Just gotta repeat that to myself. It's my mantra. No! No! Don't you dare! Dear lord, did you see how close that guy came? But I said no and no and don't you dare and the game heard me, evidently. No? That will not do. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be, you gotta be. At this point, you just have to be. God damn, going all that way and I've got to double back and go in the other direction. It's just rude. That's what it is, it's just rude. Oh hey, there's a tinted rock in the center of the room. Thank you for discovering it, man. I'll geese. It's pretty good. I'll geese, I think I'll save for the uh, Isaac fight. Because that fight is likely going to take a lot more out of me than this upcoming Mum's Heart fight. Of course, if it looks like I'm going to die to the Mum's Heart, I might use it there. I don't know. These aren't hard and fast rules. These are just what I'm telling you off the top of my dome. Because I think it's likely. I don't think I can afford that at all. Ooh, would I re-roll my whole run? Maybe. What does that do? Okay, so it just re-rolls these. Ooh. Paralysis and bombs are key. Man, am I ever glad to see neither of those. Fucking hell. And I accidentally picked up health. Good game, Ryan. Well played. If you're going to be picking up health at this point... Oh, shit. It rerolled all of the consumables on all of the floors. Right, so it's like two, but floor-wide. Excellent. So now I should probably go bananas and pick up all of the health that I can, and then go into the item room. Sorry, the curse room. Because I've lost my half heart interval anyway. Boom. I wouldn't know where to get all of these hearts except for the fact that everything's being re-rolled. So I don't know where. We oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I stutter stepped and I got taken out of the room for it. Alright, let's go check out the curse room. Here's hoping for three guppy items in it. If that happens, by the way, I'll just shut the fuck up. I'll just go like, oh, yeah, yeah fair enough. It didn't happen, now I don't have to shut the fuck up. Oh, great, now I've got to change that again. I do not like how that works. I wish there was a button you could hold down and then walking down, uh, walking through things would not pick them up anymore. Okay, gotcha. I just want the boss room. I mean, this is actually slightly glad for this detour, but uh, the boss room is my main priority. Excellent. Okay. Now I just want you in your constantly firing state. 
You're getting closer to it. Just don't spawn. There we go. Excellent. Constantly firing. Boom. What? Like it's hard? <laughs> Nothing at all. Of course, triacnid. Hello, triacnid. How are you today? Oh, Triacnid's feet have contact damage rather than uh, explosive damage like the rest of the foot stomps in the game. Not a big fan of uh, deviation from the norm, Triacnid. Oh, God. Ugh. That's unfortunate. Oh, my... That's pretty fly. That's actually pretty worthwhile. Seriously, it, uh, it'll block almost all of the tears from Isaac now. Of course, I'm using Argees on Isaac because being able to go down to the chest and actually check out those items in the chest is so worthwhile that it's worth trying to guarantee getting down that far rather than try and guarantee my success should I get down that far, right? So I don't want to save it for the blue baby on the off chance that I need it there. I would rather use it now that I'm in dire straits and then bet on getting better things before blue baby. That's unfortunate, but it didn't hit me at least. What's dropping all these half hearts? I don't have little chat or anything like that, so it's just weird that they exist, I guess. Ow. Fucking Pestilence has become a sniper. He's so different to how he acted in uh, Binding of Isaac. Original. Classic. Mm -hmm. Alright. Fucking hell. I have a knack for going in the wrong direction constantly. Like, I've gone in every single wrong direction so far before even considering finding the right direction. And then I'm probably going to have a branching path down here and I'm going to take the wrong one. If it's right and then down, I'm going to be a salty man about it. Because I think right has like 0% chance of actually being... Well, a very small chance to be where the boss is. So I'm going to go left. I'm going to try and trust my instincts on this one. I would not like to see my instincts be wrong in this case. Psychic Moors? Man, do I ever want to be in the center of that room. God. Okay. Found the boss room. That was easy. I forgot that I had the liter uh, Liberty Cap, so I could just spam the compass out of it and then use that. Scum the compass out of it, sorry. <clears throat> half heart, half heart. Take the steam cell. No reason not to. I mean, it might stop it from showing up again. That would be good. Speed down. That's actually probably worth taking. I would use... I would like a little less speed. Okay. And now begins the fight. I'm going to try and get little Brimstone firing in as often as possible. Because he does like... I want to say... 100 damage or something? During his barrage? I'm going to be immune for, like, another 10 seconds, I think. Oh, not another 10 seconds. That's fine. And... God, he was so close. Boom, gotcha. Okay, now we just need the items. We will not be able to fight Mega Satan, but we should be able to win this run with just any decent items. Eh... Eh. 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 Alright, bomb friend, you can go fuck yourself. I'm gonna put a big bomb next to you and walk the fuck away. I hate the bomb friend.
Uh oh. I might be a little too confident for whether or not I'm gonna succeed this run. Yeah. Having a lot of difficulty killing these guys is not a good sign. I mean, it's not like these guys are easy, but the amount of damage they can do to me is a little scary. No, I hold a grudge. Bum friend can go fuck himself. There is no goddamn way I am picking that piece of shit up. He can sit there and think about what he's done in the past. I'm taking all of the money for myself, even though I have no use for it. That's how much I hate Bum friend. Having Mr. Mega is actually pretty good, but the thing is, you can get Mr. Mega just from fighting enemies. So, getting Mr. Mega from one of my chests was kind of annoying. Because I've already actually fought a room of double uh, Super Roth, right? It would have given me, most likely, um, it would have given me Mr. Mega anyway. Get the shots out as many as I can, as quickly as I can. Come on, just finish the game. Oh, yes. Fucking shoot the whoop. Finally, we got the best item in the game. It does exactly no damage, um, which is why it's so good. It's just a demoralizing item to be able to beat people with. Like, look at how much damage that did. That's insane, right? And it's only a two room charge. Please drop chests. Oh, baby. <sighs> Fucking kidding you, right? Halo of flies. We already have a full uh, orbital of flies. Little chubby. I guess it's okay. Little chubby is one of those things that, you know, you get it in the late game and it's like, I mean, okay, but... You really should have shown up sooner if you wanted to be the star of this run. Kind of like Little Brimstone. I would prefer not to have Little Brimstone, especially since it would mean I would have a higher chance to get special items. Since Little Brimstone is considered a special item. Oh my god, look at all the pretty flies we have. A halo of flies, three fl uh, pretty fly pills, plus another two pretty fly pills. That's eight pretty flies. We can only have less than that. We can only have that. No pretty fly pill does anything for you past having three pretty flies. People used to contend, oh no, it makes your pretty flies bigger and they do more damage. No, not true. Entirely false. It's entirely understandable wishful thinking, but nope, it doesn't work that way. That's how they think it'd be like it is, but it don't. I really don't care what order I kill them in, none of these are particularly going to give me anything inspiring, so... I fucking hate this guy. Fuck you, Triacnid. Go fucking home. Fuck yourself. Oh my god, another foot? You're supposed to do four. Thought there was a pattern I'd understood. Apparently not. At least Gertie was dead fairly quickly. Oh look, more golden keys. Alright, let's go kill this blue baby. I might actually be at risk of dying here. I just think about it and I'm like... 
there's a slight possibility that I fuck up so severely that I end up dead. It's not significant, but it just requires me kind of not looking on the sides and letting flies engulf me or letting too many tears hit my face thinking that my pretty flies are going to stop them. Maybe even with a little bit of blue baby teleporting onto my face. And looks like that's not going to happen. Excellent, let's get out of this game because I would not like to have it having any more chances to throw me in the deep. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. The name of the character was Lazarus. Let me make sure that Lazarus's card has now been completed. Lazarus' card has not been completed. We needed to do Boss Rush and I'm an idiot because I thought he'd already done Boss Rush. Oh well. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Binding of Isaac Rebirth content, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.